leftovers. Always our worst nightmare. Always in the fridge. What do we do with it? How can we get creative? We hate waste. So, so we're gonna do corned beef, Reuben empanadas. I'm gonna take my Reuben dip, stuff them in Goya discs, and bake them so they're a little bit healthier, then frying them. Let's check it out. Took the corned beef that we had extra, chopped it up in a bowl, a little flour for our discs. We're gonna make a Thousand Island dipping sauce for our empanadas, because why not? Sauerkraut had in a can, I have it draining, and I'm using a fork to push the extra liquid out so it doesn't make my empanadas soggy. Here are the discs I buy. They're in the freezer section of any food town shop, right, or grocery store. This is a mix. This is what I left over in the fridge. A half a bag of shredded cheddar. I think there's mozzarella on the bottom. An American chopped up. Two eggs for our binding, and that's the stuff for our Thousand Island. Sheet pans are ready to go. Let's get mixing. Really can't get any easier than adding everything into one big bowl before you mix it together. So I have the corned beef, the cheese, the sauerkraut, um, the eggs, and no, we do not add any salt because I know that I cooked my corned beef and it's fully seasoned. Sauerkraut's pretty, I know this sounds weird, but I'm taking my fingers and I'm matching kind of the cheese and breaking down the corned beef because it's gonna be in an empanada. I really want it to mix well together and all the flavors to marry. Just kind of as if I made the Reuben dip. We want to work smarter, not harder. So flouring the table, laying out our discs. Here's our filling ready to go. That's a little bit of extra flour on the side. And we have our egg washer. So we're going to brush all of our empanadas at once. With the These are the Goya discs. We laid them all down on my counter. Just wipe down your counter. Um, flour, little AP flour. And then with a pastry brush, egg wash. It's just one egg whisk with a fork with a little bit of water. We're going to brush egg wash on our empanada discs. This way, when you fill them and we seal them, it acts like a glue to close the discs. Using around a tablespoon of filling. Hold on, let me do it so you can see in this one. The camera angle I has a little far away. Tablespoon of filling, right dead center. So what I'm gonna do is once I fold it over, um, the filling will kind of move to the middle so it's a nice full empanada and then we'll seal it with the fork. Okay, we're gonna start sealing them. So all the, all the empanadas are full. I dip my eggs in a little bit of egg wash so it's a little bit more pliable. Use your thumb to hold the stuffing in, flip the empanadas, and use your fingers to kind of pinch it down. Then up, and then we'll top them with a little bit of non-stick spray, which I'll show you in a minute, and they're gonna go in the oven to bake. Right now, the oven is preset at 400. So just like that, just sealing them. You wanna seal them nice and tight so nothing oozes out, especially because there is the cheese on here. So thumbprint, pushing all the filling in, and sealing it down. These are gonna be delicious. Bananas are done. They're on aluminum sheet pans we spray. And anytime I bake fry something, I take the non-stick spray, and I'm gonna have a heavy coat on top of the empanadas, and the oven's at a higher temperature, so that they turn golden brown. Um, I'm gonna put them in for eight minutes one way, then I'm gonna spin the pan, and put them in for another four minutes, and take them on out. I'll show you the end product, because you're gonna wanna see me taste them. Empanadas are in, we're gonna make our Thousand Island. We did a cup of mayo, good old Hellman's mayo. Um, it's McDonald's secret. Ketchup, Heinz ketchup. We're gonna use sweet relish. And you wanna leave a little bit of that juice from the sweet relish. And then my secret ingredient, a little Worcestershire. Worcestershire, Worcestershire, Worcestershire is my husband walking around, busting my chops. I'm gonna season with a little salt and pepper, mix it together, and I'm gonna put in a bowl while our empanadas are cooking. So when they come out, we can cool, plate them up for display. Well, for display, for eating, because why else are we making these? It's because we're gonna eat them. Stir, 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 stir. Go light on the salt too, because a lot of these ingredients all mixed together have high salt contact content, let alone um, Reuben empanadas, corned beef like we talked about, sauerkraut. We don't want it to be unedible or too salty, so black pepper a little bit heavier, salt a little bit less. 
and checking on these empanadas. See how they are not greasy and like yellow gold? They're like light golden and crispy. That's because they are baked, not fried. And look, we have no leakage. Uh, no, no, no leakage on any of them. So we seal them nice and tight. They smell amazing. And actually when you bake them, the smell is totally different than that fry smell. It's like nice and light and airy. Empanadas are out. Look how beautiful and golden brown. We're gonna crack them open. Steam it off. Going for a full dip into, ooh, drip. Oh my God. Mmm. -hmm. So full. And creamy. Bang around, you know. All right. I feel like you couldn't understand me because my mouth was full and it was rude. But what I was saying was they're super creamy. Look how nice and full they stayed. And using the discs, I mean, look, you can be an overachiever and make your own masa and make your own discs. Mama doesn't have time for that. We're a little busy over here, so buying the pre Goya discs, they're a great product. They do not, they are not greasy and sticky. My hands not because we bake them, but look, they crisp up really nice and golden brown. So, leftover, good way to do it. I think you can do this with anything. You wanna do chicken, buffalo chicken, pretty much take anything you have leftovers and throw it in an empanada shell, bake it in the oven, come up with a creative sauce. You're game on, good to go.